Lesson 105, part two. So just real quick review the part one. When we talked about multiplying matrices, the number of rows, I mean columns, in the first one has to equal the number of rows in the second one. So then I gave um, an example of how to do it. So you go across and down, multiply A times E, and add B times G. Do you guys kind of remember how to go across? So, so AE plus BG. And then I showed it two different ways where you could take this row and turn it, make it a column times that one. I don't know if that... I wanted to give you an example using um, uh, a real numbers, yeah, not just letters. But I'm trying to figure out what I... Yeah, you could do problem one on the homework. Did here. No, I'm not. Take it back. No, no. Okay, so first we have to see um, if we can multiply them, which I'm pretty sure we can because this is an example that I want to show you. So, Matrices, if they're not, like the number of columns in the first one doesn't match the number of rows in the second one. So if you look at, this is a three by two matrix. And this one is a two by three. The, this can, these two can be multiplied because uh, the number of columns is two and the number of rows here is two. So we can multiply it. So we're going to end. Do you guys remember what size the, the answer will be? How to find that? It's by three. Yep. The three by three. Okay, so it's going to be a big. Why would it be three by three? So to to solve it. Okay, so I'm going to show you doing this this way right here. So we take the row. I mean, yeah, this first row, first column. So we do five, negative two, and if you just write it like that, times zero. And then we're going to add it. And I feel like it's super bright. What is that sign? I know, it's super bright in here or something. Okay, try that. So you do 5, just write your 5, negative 2 going down, and then 0, 4. And we're going to take 5, negative 2 on the first 3. So you have 5, negative 2, 5, negative 2. And we're going to multiply times the second column, so negative 3, 0, and then this one would be 2, 4. So when we multiply the 5 times 0 plus negative 2 times 4, so we'll multiply those two and then add it. So the first term, the first row, first column is negative 8. And then this one would be negative 15 plus zero, so negative 15. This would be 10 plus a negative eight, two. So those are the first, that's the first row in your answer. So to find the second row, we take um, the second row in the first one, zero, two, and we'll just write that uh, in each of the three columns there. <coughs> And then we're going to multiply it by the first, second, and third column of this one. So 0, 4, and then negative 3, 0, and then 2, 4. So we're going to multiply 0 times 0 and then add 2 times 4. So this one would be 8. And then this one would be just 0 because 0 plus 0 is 0, and this is 0 plus 8. So this would be the second column of our answer. Then to, f I mean row, then to find the third row, we need to take our 3, 1 from our first matrix and just write it in each.
each of those. And then we're going to take each column from the second matrix and multiply it by that. So 0, 4, negative 3, 0, and 2, 4. Then when we add, we'll have 0 plus 4, so this is a 4, negative 9, 6, plus 4 is 10. So our answer then, the 3 by 3 that we get, would be negative 8, negative 15, 2 across the first row. And then 8, 0, 8 for the second row. And then 4, negative 9, 10. And that would be these two multiplied. Now, <laughs> now that we just learned how to multiply them, they're going to like right away give you uh, reflection matrices and rotation matrices. So uh, I'm turning the page. So if we want to reflect in the x-axis, All you have to do is um, take this matrix and times it by your point matrix. So this is to reflect a segment. So you have two points. Um, actually, it doesn't matter how many points you have because a point matrix has um, the X and Y goes up and down. Did we talk about that yesterday? A point matrix or in previous time? Okay. Probably not. We did? Yeah. Okay, good. So you would, your point matrix would be X, Y. It doesn't matter how many you get because you will have, let's see, the number of columns is two, has to equal the number of rows. So you'd only have two rows anyway. So no matter what you are, um, what shape you're reflecting in the x-axis, if you multiply this in the front times your point matrix, your answer then will be the point matrix of the reflected figure. If you want to reflect in the y-axis, it's very similar, only you do negative 1, 0, 0, 1, times your point matrix. In other words, when you reflect in the x-axis, the y part of your point goes negative. If you're reflecting in the y-axis, the x part of your point goes negative. So that's what these, you'll notice the pattern as you do it. Then we have rotation matrices. So if you want to rotate something 90 degrees, you're going to take the matrix 0, negative 1, 1, 0, times your point matrix. And then if you wanted to go 180 degrees, it's a negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1 times your point matrix. And then we have 270 degrees. And then we have, uh, actually, we have 360. Which 360 is kind of pointless because it's just the exact same thing. But you multiply by the, this is actually called the identity matrix. Oh, I got it. Pointless. Uh huh. Yeah. I didn't get it till you said that. So thanks for clarifying. That's funny. So for, I want to show one, like, we're going to reflect. So we're just doing one example with reflect in x-axis, triangle, A, B, C. So A is negative 2, negative 1. B is negative 4, negative 1. And C is negative 5, negative 3. So to reflect in the x-axis, we're going to use this matrix up here, 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 
and then we times it by the point matrix, which we take our A and make that the first column, our B and our C. Then we're going to multiply. And I'm not going to write it all out. I'm just going to do, like I know that this is going to go 1, 0 times each of those. So I do 1 times negative 2 uh, plus 0, which would be negative 2. And then 1 times negative 4 plus 0 is just negative 4. And then this will be negative 5. And then the second row would be 0, negative 1 times each of those. So this is 0 plus 1, and then 0 plus 1, and then 0 plus 3. And that would be our um, new point matrix. So A prime would be negative 2, 1. B prime would be at negative 4, 1. And C prime would be at negative 5, 3. And that's the end of the lesson. Whoa.